Number 1 Boca de Sina Was really surprising After several days having really good meals in Ponta Delgada I was surprised by this one man show Great tuna and octopus dishes Pineapple pie was very good Ricardo is a very good chef that does what he knows Number 2 wrote is D.A. Elia Verde I recently visited San Miguel and was impressed by the quality of the beef and restaurants in general How ironic that my favorite restaurant by far was Rodas de Elia Verde What a simply charming experience Number 3 Colegio 27 Restaurant and Jazz Club The recommendations were taken into consideration and we were not disappointed Both the tuna steak and swordfish were done perfectly The portions were good but it would have been nice with a few more vegetables. Number 4 Amphitheatro Restaurant and Lounge Enjoy the 5 course taster menu a bargain at 27.50 euro each. Really well presented and excellent taste in food. The fish course was fantastic as was dessert. We were suitably full by the end of the meal. Number 5 Reserva Bar I don't like leaving reviews for places I have actually eaten it but we did walk in, sit down, Look at the menu and then walk out again so it's probably worth me advising others too. As far as I can tell no hot food is served here. Number 6 Casa de Bife o Galigo. We turned up without notice and were accommodated despite the restaurant being fully booked. Lovely helpful staff and all food locally produced. Had a delicious meal great service and lovely bottle of red wine. Number 7 Restaurante o Museo. What a disappointment. I saw the comments and rank on TripAdvisor and thought it would be much better than what it is. The decor is strange, and, in my opinion, not very well thought out. As for the food, lapas were good. Number 8 Atasca. Right in the heart of Ponce Delgado. I was told we needed reservations but managed to get in for lunch no problem. Authentic Azorian, lots of seafood options. Full of locals, so you know it's good and authentic. Some of the menu options a little too authentic. Number 9 Taberna Acor. We reserved a table and were seated in the separate room on the ground floor, which was okay, yet a bit cold. Service staff was partly overwhelmed, partly stressed, but it worked out somehow. The food was good, but not as good as one would expect. Number 10 Merceria Sao Pedro Wine and Tapas. This restaurant is actually a shop and a small restaurant in one. A lovely atmosphere with lots of antique stuff as decoration, however, the tapas are really fantastic. We took the raclette with various local cheese. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.